If you want cheap Microsoft points and game codes, check out g2a.com. Links in the description below. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a cheap market crash team. Now, I think the most this is probably going to cost you, the prices are going up since I've recorded this video, but I think 25k on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 will probably be the max you will have to spend. I'm building this squad on the Xbox One though, so let's get straight into this. Salvatore Sirigu, I believe, is the most expensive player on the team, costs around 5k, so possibly 7.5 on PlayStation, not entirely sure, but these are Xbox prices, so bear that in mind. Two centre-backs are going to be David Luiz, and then obviously the other one is non-rare. Now, if you want to make this more expensive, put Thiago Silva there, but obviously this is a budget team, so I've gone with Marquinhos, 350 coins for him, he's 6 foot as well, so it's good. David Luiz is the first owner, as you can see, but I believe he costs around 3k on on Xbox so it's really really cheap anyway the left back is another non-rare player it's going to be someone who got a red card about three games ago and I forgot to put him back in my team that is Luke Shaw and yeah he's very very solid 82 pace six foot one as well which for a fullback is brilliant as you can see I packed him but he's about 700 coins on Xbox right back then we go with I believe it's another non-rare player or no, it's not. What the hell am I on about? It's Kyle Walker. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up with another score builder. Anyway, first owner again. I've packed a lot of these players, but I believe he's about 5k max on Xbox. Probably a little bit less. 91 pace, 80 physical, high, medium, attacking, defensive work rates. Honestly, since FIFA 11, that guy is... Well, FIFA 12, that guy's been absolutely ridiculous. It's insane. Then we go with even more pace. On the right, we've got Theo Walcott, 3,800 for him. 96 pace is probably all you need to know, really. Uh, he's had that pace since FIFA 12, I think, as well. It's crazy. On the left, we've got Ashley Young. Now, this guy is probably the biggest surprise in this team. I put him there mainly to try him out, and Jesus, this guy is overpowered on this uh, game. Four-star skill moves, 86 pace, 81 dribbling, and 73 shooting. 1,300, he's always forward, that high, medium, attacking, defensive work rates really, really do help him, and he's honestly fantastic. I'll put the striker in first. It's going to be a non-rare beast who, unfortunately, only has three-star skills. If he had four-star skills, he'd be slightly better, but he's still overpowered. Six foot one, it's Danny Welbeck. Cost around about 1,000 on Xbox, 85 pace, 80 dribbling, 76 shooting. That pace feels like 90, honestly. When this guy accelerates, it is crazy. These three as a trio are just pace, 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 really. Fullbacks, Luke Shaw's kind of pacey as well, but obviously Walker is extreme pace. So the kind of outer shell of this team, including the defense, is all about pace. But when we move into the um, center of the park, the three center mids, sort of, it gets a little bit slower, but they are brilliantly, uh, they are great at defending and passing, which is why I've got them in there. So we've got uh, the first of the Bender brothers, it is going to be Lars Bender, that sounds hilarious when you say it like that, Bender brothers, obviously if you're immature or whatever, like I am, but anyway, um, I can't find the next, where the hell is he? He's rare, have I mixed it up? Yes, I believe this guy is a CDM and I haven't changed him around, he is, it's Lars Bender. Laws Bender has to go there and Sven Bender has to go there to get full chem because the player to partner them is going to be Gundogan. I'll show you what I mean right now. So if you put Sven there and Laws there, then it just doesn't work. So you need to have that full chem. They would get nine chemistry, but uh, I haven't changed them around because um, I'm getting mixed up. Right, Laws Bender is a default centre mid, but I'm playing him in defensive mid. And then uh, Sven Bender is a default CDM, but I'm playing him in centre mid. Anyway, all three of these are great at defending, got great passing, and Gundogan has the, uh, the four-star skills as well, so he gets forward a little bit more. And this team is just really, really well-rounded, and I'll tell you why in the highlights. Right, so the reason this team worked so well uh, is the pace, basically, and because the central midfield is so good at passing and defending, it sits back, so it's kind of hard to explain, you're kind of crowding the middle, but then you're also using the wings, you're stretching the play while keeping it compact in the middle, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Even if it doesn't, try this team and you may see what I mean. Any player can score on this team, it's fantastic. Even the three centre mids that are very defensive, like headers or whatever, or little stray runs that they make, they can still come and score. It's absolutely fantastic. I really do enjoy this team. And for, what, 20k or whatever I paid for it, it's crazily good. Danny Welbeck, 
very very strong unfortunately he only has the three star skills but uh, it didn't really prove that much of an issue for me because Theo Walcott and Ashley Young were on the wings with the uh, skills also Ashley Young I think I scored a few free kicks with him he's absolutely incredible I'm not sure if I did that on who performs best or on this um, his free kicks are brilliant honestly I mean EA did a tutorial on how to take them so that shouldn't be a problem for most people uh, his stats don't look the best but he plays very very well and he's always there I mean look at that goal I know they keep us off his line but still the power and the just the way it glides in that's like a Gerard 2006 goal it's absolutely crazy where it just glides and hits off the inside the ball absolutely beautiful and then Gundogan is probably the uh, the key to this entire team. Uh, both the Benders are absolutely brilliant on uh, in the game. They are a lot more defensive, which allows Gundogan to get forward and create a pass. Uh, even if you, like, if you want to play centralised, you can. And then you've also got the wingers. Walcott, though, his shooting is a little off for me. Everything else about the card is really, really good. His pace, bombing down, his crossing, etc. But if you try and cut inside and score, sometimes your shooting's a little bit off. Whereas Ashley Young in the other wing, I'm very surprised at how accurate his shooting is. It's crazy. Uh, and as I say, Welbeck, fantastic. The defense, very, very solid. Um, does push up a little bit though, which is why I like having defensive centre mids in this type of formation. 4 1 4 1, probably my favourite formation after the patch because it just utilises everything. You're allowed to get forward if you've got a strong. Uh, striker with a little bit of pace and pacey wingers and then it's also got the defensive solidity so it's just a perfect formation for me and it works really really well and Salvatore Sirigu is one of my favorite goalkeepers as well so overall this team is fantastic and I highly recommend you go and try it out.